So, hello everyone, it's time of course for, um, you know, Princess no, Goddess Ice Switch. She used to be a water goddess and now she instead she's an ice controller. And she's super cute. And she really did remind me of course of the girlfriend, right? Uh, in the sense that, I mean, she's like, Oh my god, you're on the same place as me? Oh my god, you're on the same place? Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally next door to me? Yeah, very much that feeling, right? And But it sounds... It's like a mixture of that, I guess. Sounded like Aqua when you know, they were fighting. Sounded like um, Shishora when he was touching her and so on. Yeah, I'm gonna get into that moment. But anyway, I think episode one then was, you know, it was pretty good. I felt, I felt the first 10 minutes or so were pretty, like, uh, pretty mediocre, honestly. And then when you got into them actually fighting and getting into the romance, and that was really interesting, right? So I hope more for that now, as now they have met, right? So I think that kind of is probably better. So two here. And I was thinking about that the, the pink haired girl, though. The pink haired girl. Is probably gonna be a love interest too, right? He saves his witch, but explain why. But she's probably in love with the main character, right? He's probably in love with the, in the boy, and she's probably gonna be, you know, in her, in Julia, so to speak, in her path, right? To be like, I, I wanna date him, but it's probably gonna be a thing later. But anyway, let's start watching it. So, three, two, one, and go. But yeah, definitely the pinky girl is gonna return eventually, right? Not like this episode, probably like episode like four or five, maybe something like that, right? Maybe it's later, but she definitely probably return and also be in love with him, and it's gonna be all annoying for her. Oh, but that's my boy. I I like this human boy. Yeah, leave me alone. Yeah, um, because he's not following what happened last week. I mean, they're not on the TV anymore. Yeah, I keep keep thinking about the babe, of course, she's a waifu, living in her ice castle and so on. So there was an opening last week, right? I remember the list. Uh, so yeah. So there we go. They meet in the forest. Romeo and Julia. Yeah. She's really big though. We have to say that. This is probably the biggest role for Sora ever. She's really... Yeah, because she was playing... Like in Dumbbell and so on. Oh yeah, she's pretty... Yeah, she's decent in that. But like, this is... She's... You gotta say that uh, the ice switch here. She is... She's definitely big, yeah. Absolutely. That's probably like the leader of the humans, probably. And she's all hyped and her maid is... Oh, oh. See, this pinkish girl, yeah. Pinkish girl in the opening. She definitely, come on, she definitely gonna return and be like a lo love triangle with her, probably. Or at least two other, other witches, like her mom's and that, yeah, like, like, it probably looks like her mother. And now they're meeting at, like, a museum, perhaps? Like some painting? So they're gonna have the same interest, right? They keep meeting each other. Okay. It's like a bewinged... Dark here, girl. So I'm thinking like, is there maybe some kind of like third faction they're gonna fight? If it's, that's probably how they're gonna be, uh, you know, be friends, shot, right? Because they have to fight some other. Yeah, like this thing here was this woman here. It's like these two war countries are gonna fight another third country. So I wanna guess then, like in short, that they're gonna fight warlocks. <laughs> yeah. So the witch are the good. The witch is already you know, in one country. There's probably like a, a fourth country, which is like warlock country. So the neither country, the human country, which country, like the warlock or like the demon country, they have to fight those people, right? And that's why they're gonna become friends and eventually get allies because they have to fight this like third country, this pure evil, yeah, this really evil country that is doing everything worse. Yeah, that's probably how it's gonna be, right? But yeah, it doesn't, you know, it's not following what happened last episode. They're not like back in theater, which I think is a little strange. I would rather see them, you know, have their meeting and their Extension date on the in the theater than seeing the captain that's like useless useless captain is back yeah this girl is so useless I don't this one gets some storylines this is nitpicky right but I feel like how is she the captain how is she the captain they're like captain you're hiding somewhere else okay girl yeah and they're like oh we're getting ambushed what we're getting ambushed yeah, like she seems to be bad at everything like she's a bad fighter bad awareness clumsy and seems to be somewhat you know used Kinda out there, yeah. She seems to be really useless, right? Compared to the other people in the report. So how is she the leader? How is she get the high rank in them? Is she older? Is she just purely from age? Like, it's just... Maybe she has some kind of skill, I don't know. Yeah, she's like, changing scenery. Maybe she's like a morale support girl. Exactly, she can do plushies something. She can do mascots, I don't know. Okay, she lives in this weird... Oh, yeah, Patsu! <laughs> yeah, the coach is all of her, yeah. Nice, yeah. Kawaii! Indeed! He's like, whoa, that's. I know. Yeah. Yeah, and of course she's like, yes, yeah, so that's her thing, she's cute and clumsy, yeah. 
accidentally showed her her underwear dream. Yeah, like that's her thing. She's just like cute and fan service. <laughs> I don't know what's what, what's her what's her role. Okay, so this is explaining. Okay, 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 fine. This is like a flashback. This is explaining how he got the ticket. Yeah. Okay. Okay, she got the ticket to the opera. Okay, this is how he gets to the to the place there. Yeah. Okay. That's why he's meets gonna meet her, his love there. Captain's order. You gotta have this tragic love of night and yeah, this Romeo and Juliet play here with you know a human and a yeah a human and a witch doing it. Oh my god. Okay, he's like his mask or something. He gives him this sword. This is in the opening too. This was in the opening. Yeah. So this is how he got this, like magical sword. Driving him, I guess, to the neutral country. Okay, so yeah, now it's very different. Now it's okay. I mean, yeah, we go back a few days, I guess, or something like this, right? We'll kind of see how to get there to meet his love. This is the last video. I feel kind of strange how it's like they have this like hundred year old war, but they still can just easily go to this neutral country and hang out there. That would probably be very unlikely in reality because it'd be like. Yes, they have near to countries, but that's because there are... The thing is that she's like a living ice nuke, and he's like a living sword nuke. Yeah, so they, it's kind of like, oh, can we set our nuke in this country next to your country? Yeah, they, you know what I mean? They are not, you know, these, these humans, these not warriors, they're like actual superpowers. They're like, they're mutants with powers. So they are, yeah, like they're powers, so they probably wouldn't be allowed as their living weapons to be in a near to country. Yeah, he's like, oh, this girl is so easily moved. What a beautiful lady. Here we go. Here we go. Now we continue where we ended last week. Arigato! Here we go. Oh. She's so into this uh, witch and human uh, coupling. Yeah, she's like, oh, yes. True love. Oh, here we go. <gasps> it's you! My girlfriend next door. Here we go. <gasps> oh my god! Stupid boy! See, this sounds like a girl. I have the girlfriend moment. Yeah, what are you doing here? Why are you living next door to me? Yeah, see? I will kill you now! <laughs> like, we can't fight in this new neutral country. We're gonna hang out instead. Okay, so yeah, is it a lot of neutral places or something? I don't know. Yeah. Bastard! You clearly tried to trick me. Well, you were crying, I was just here. <laughs> there we go. It's I use to do the shamanical play, yeah. This is not tears, it's just sweat from my eyes, yeah. Sounds like a real shamanical play, yeah. It's like, no, 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 this is a tear I use that I need to release sometimes, yeah. Man, I can't even do like a nice proper. Yeah, force of habit, yeah, so it's like all proper here, and the stupid boy is all like... So they're probably gonna meet each other now at the museum as an opener. They're probably gonna keep meeting each other everywhere they go, right? He's not following us. Yes, okay, we got rid of him, good. And now they're probably gonna meet him, you know, as soon as he enters the museum. Like, I wanna see this famous painting of the Mona Lisa, and he's gonna be there, like, God damn it, yes, come on, it's gonna be... Or at the restaurant, I think it's gonna be a meal, yeah. It's gonna be super stars aligned, right? Come on. He's gonna go to the restaurant. Yeah. He's only have one seat with the next his boy. You can, yeah, come on. This anime, this is going with the girlfriend route. Come on. Oh, that's fine. We can share a table. Oh, it's him again. Come on. He's gonna enter now and be, he's in the bathroom or something. So exactly. I know he's gonna call me, right? Thank you. And it's like, damn it! <laughs> yeah, but come on. It is. This is like the most ridiculous stars aligned thing ever. This is almost worse than the girlfriend now. Oh, Lisa, oh. How dare you ambush us! I want to eat food. I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid man! Yeah. He does not point. Not a god. <laughs> is that okay? Yeah. 
Why would you change restaurants? Uh, yeah, why would you go to another restaurant? Come on, but this is man, this anime, this is worse than the girlfriend now. They keep meeting them wherever they go, right? This really is rent to go to the tune of, yeah. It's like, oh, he's gonna be there. After you eat food, you're gonna go to the museum, he's gonna be there too, right? Now, this is my favorite museum. <gasps> Stars align the anime, definitely. Are they gonna split it, something? <laughs> it's gonna be weird, they're gonna, the same, they're gonna read it at the same time, yeah, it's gonna be even weirder now, because they're like getting close in there, oh, you, 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 you wanna flip page? Why wouldn't you, st like, go to no restaurant? This is, oh, yeah, this is stupid. Oh, and they have the exact same, uh, exact same food, uh, tea with sugar cube, you're like, they're like twins something, they're like soul, you two are in great sync, yeah, it's like, do you know each other? No, I hate this person, yeah! So I could have the exact same interest in food and, you know, in the theater. Yeah, I actually ordered my food, though. It's my favorite food. <laughs> they have the exact same. I always like this creamy sauce, girl! Oh, hara hara! It was a great day! Yeah, no, she's like, you know, they're agreeing now on food here. So, oh my god, they're gonna be best friends now. Oh my god. Yes, cold pasta is so great. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're going like this Soma route now. They're, Soma, oh yes, that's my favorite food too. Oh my god, yeah, they're so cute. <laughs> and the poor maid is like, come on, stop trying to befriend him. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, <laughs> don't talk to the enemy so much, come on. Yes, I'm sorry for being too friendly. <laughs> Do you see, I like it. The maid's like, no, you're both wrong. That's the right food. <laughs> Good. Oh, it's gonna be fan service again, right? Yeah, she's quite a fan service woman. Oh, okay, yeah, a little fan service. This is probably her mama, right? We saw her in the opening, yeah. Her ara ara mama. No, oh, he kept. Yeah, why did you keep his handkerchief? Oh no, it's love across the border. No, he's a monster. <laughs> he's damn men, damn human males. Yeah, they're monsters. Yes, yeah, your comment with cooked food. Yeah, you you ruin everything. You ruin our date there. <laughs> I like she's like, no, I was right, you're wrong with the pasta. <laughs> I love how, yeah, I love the maids like, no, 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 I was right, you're idiots, you don't understand pasta at all. I know the food. <laughs> um, that, that was why she, yeah, <laughs> she's like, no, 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 I am right, you guys are both wrong with food. Um, but yeah, so they're clearly falling in love now, I mean, they have the exact same taste in food, right, they have the same, yeah, yeah, more, it's like Kaguya love story now, yeah. Moe! Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, they're gonna meet in the train probably. <laughs> it surprised me. They're like, oh no, look at this snow here on this train. It's probably her doing snow or something. But this could be a flashback though, I guess. And now it's like lizards? They definitely haven't displayed much in this anime's world building here. It's like, okay, so they have some kind of lizard men or something. Yeah, now they're fighting some. So she's saving him? What? Is he dreaming this thing, or is it like a... Did we just jump uh -huh, and they met on a train now or something? Maybe she did save him in the past, it was like a flashback, he dreamt like a memory. Maybe they met and she saved him when she was younger, perhaps. But it's what I mean, why is the captain like, ah, oh, I have no connect, I'm so weak, I need, I need to break! Like, why is she the captain? Why is she so bad at her? yeah? She's only good for fan service, she's like, oh, look at my pants too, yeah, like, what, what's, what's her thing? I drank all my water! I'm sorry! Give me your water, guys! <laughs> yeah! She's a massive liability for... Yeah, she's a really a massive liability for the whole team there. On you, girl? Some kind of higher ranked woman? A megan Shan, yeah. Oh, she's a humankind special defense force woman, okay. Yeah, it's a Mendoxia woman, clearly. 
oh, she's gonna be a new captain because this captain can't do anything. Hey, I wanna be the leader. Yeah, you too much. You too much better than me. I also wanna be leader, even though I suck at it. Stupid girls. <laughs> yeah. He can't sleep anymore because he met a cute girl. He's, he's, he's destroying his mind. He's like, God damn it, this woman is so cute. I just can't. She has the same pasta taste, man. She's into the same food as me. She's perfect. I'm gonna marry her. Alright. Here we go. You wanna go to this. Uh, you wanna go to this exhibition show? Oh yeah, she gets like a mail ticket and she's gonna be there. This is like worse to go than like meet a girlfriend. He's like, why don't you go to this uh, neutral city art museum? Oh, who's gonna be in the art museum? Come on, like we saw it in the opening, but this is Christ anime. Like it's going stars align everything. Yeah, it's probably the mama. We saw it in the opening. It has to be, yeah. Ara ara mama, the queen. Yeah, I guess this stupid Schwarzman, stupid humans. Uh, so Emperor, I guess, is the guy we saw also in the open then. Sitting behind that, like, uh... Okay. What is this thing? Okay. And now, look at the crystal. Okay, some up there. Okay, the original queen or something. Ah, this one! That looks to be the fighter in the open, though. Okay, so she's like an evil one? So the ancestor is probably evil, right? because, I mean, the opening kind of spoiled that, because they're fighting the ancestor in the opening, yeah, they were clearly fighting her in the opening. It's absolutely her from the opening, like, the, the ancestor. So her twin sister, or... Well, I mean, you're clearly gonna fight the founder or the sister, both of them. Very, very clearly, given the opening. I quite spoiled that, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, you're gonna fight this woman. That boy had a magical sword though, so how are they gonna explain that right? He had his own, he had his own astral power, yeah, how could he use... He, he could use his own magic power. Now they're gonna go to the museum instead of being fall in love and be all like, oh my god, we have the same taste in theater and in the cultural, uh, yeah, they're very culturally aligned. <laughs> it's like, but yeah, she's so big. You gotta, gotta appreciate her, her size, yeah. It was just a coincidence, okay? Like, it doesn't happen more than once, come on. It's never gonna happen again, girl. Come on. Just a really, you know, low, incredibly low chance coincidence. Yeah. And now I need it. It's like Jenner with the girlfriend now. How can you live it next to me all the time? Well, God damn, it's just some time, yeah. You would do your job or something, yeah. Artist on waters, okay, yeah. <laughs> He's like, every goddamn moment is anime. I will go this way, and then they could really meet again when they. Oh, shit, it's like a kind of dark alley. This seems like unnecessarily dangerous, but also like she's like a powerful witch, so she probably defeat anyone anyway. Like she's gonna be in trouble here. Like she's like a living super weapon. Yeah, we're still afraid of uh, rats though, Nesumis, yeah, because 
even though she's like a super warrior, can she fly? <laughs> I guess she's like, like limited update or something. Okay, she gets lost because she was angry. She wanna avoid stupid, stupid boy. God damn, his kids playing with balls and shit, yeah. Being all happy. Oh, you get lost, right? Get out! He knows what's through my weakness! Sense of uh, direction, yeah. Yeah, you're a stupid swordsman. So you are a princess. Oh, oh no, I didn't mean that! Of course you're a princess, because that's why well, is not the true romance if you meet the Himishan, right? You need you need to date the princess, or else it's not really or else it's not deep love, right? Artist no borders though, girl. Moi! Yeah, so I mean, I mean, the opening already showed this, but yeah, it's like, come on, like this anime, I, was, okay, I say it again, but it's worse than the girlfriend. They happen to always meet constantly. It starts a line. Animated coincidence, yeah. If games is anime of misunderstanding, this is the anime of coincidence. They keep always getting to the exact same place all the time when they need to in the near city. It's like they only have one little area they can all meet here. He's of course very very talented. He's a cultural master. Yeah. She's gonna get all, you know, thirsty now, even his amazing cultures. He's like, oh what a man. He knows paintings. Yeah. She's gonna be like, oh he's worthy of a king's. They're gonna happy she's now. She's like, my god, this guy knows art better than me. He's a true gentleman or something. Yeah, she looks you know, all thirsty now. Even if it's a swordsman. <gasps> oh my gosh, let me give some drink here. They're basically having a goddamn date, come on. And he's like, I don't want to hold you anything. Yes, uh... Maybe I don't have enough money. He's poor though. He's like some kind of soldier guy. And she's a rich princess, so. Oh my god, she gave him like a drink. It's a very neutral bottle though. Oh she's, oh, she's an older woman. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I'm older than you. Mm, yes. Arara, ara, indeed. Very arara. Ara. They're both are also now falling asleep or something. <laughs> it's the best date ever. They're both like, oh, yeah. I'm so calm with this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's falling on her boat pies. <gasps> oh, my God. Stars aligned the enemy. Yeah, stop being so relaxed with me, stupid boy! I could kill you, you stupid human! Oh man, it's a love story. See through the ages, yeah. <laughs> but it really feels ridiculous. <laughs> From like a storytelling standpoint, right? It is, feels like the rom-com of rom-coms, yeah. I was like, oh! You happen to be here too? And then she even tells her maze, like, what if you meet the boy again? That's not gonna happen! You, you, you understand how low chance it was last time? Don't be silly. I'm not gonna meet him again, right? It's like, what are you here for again? God damn it! I told her to, god damn it! Yeah, I'm just like, you know, you, you know, like, she even, like, told us that it's not gonna happen. It's really, it would be stupid if it happens again, yeah. I mean, she literally said it, like, that's gonna be, it's gonna be stupid if it meets again. It doesn't make any sense. Uh... I mean, yeah, she even like told us as the viewer that that was so silly, it is never gonna happen again. Are you stupid or something? <laughs> right? And you're like, I guess we are because it happened again. <laughs> like, yeah, so even the author is like, I know this is silly, but I'm doing it anyway. It's like, yeah, stars align romance, definitely. Certainly, certainly, stars align this anime. It's silly about you. It's silly about you. At 
there endings? A little bit. Okay, here we go. It's kind of Council of Humans. The Black Steel. He's a, a saint again. <laughs> but he has, of course, defeat the capture the Ice Witch. <laughs> of course he does. But yeah, he can only become a saint if he if he defeats the Ice Witch. If he defeats the goddamn goddess, then he can be a then he gets his role back. Good anime, good. So they have to fight each other, and of course he might do it. But yeah, like we saw in the opening, I think that the pink kid girl is gonna gonna come back there. But it felt very spoilery, the opening, guys. Like, it felt very spoilery, right? I mean, sure, even if you haven't seen the opening, when you're talking about this, like, the an Asian, the, the progenitor witch or something, the god of magic and astro magic, yeah. Certainly, that person sounds like potentially the big bad, the big baddie anyway, right? Because it's a kind of Asian fighter woman and her sister, and they might be way stronger or actually pure evil or something. Yeah, well, who knows? It? Yeah, so kind of demonic witch, whatever, yeah. They, they sound quite evil anyway, right? Pretty classic, like they sound like they're either you know a, a good, a, a, either an evil god or a benevolent god. You know, no right there. So, but the opening, I would say, really spoiled that. I, I, I mean, I don't know, but I mean, the opening, they're clearly fighting her together. So it feels like she's almost gonna wake up in there, right? Her and her sister, and, they, and they're gonna be the bad guys. So it feels like that's like, and the other people fighting with against them is also probably part of that. Some kind of a really ancient magical demons, probably whatever, right? Warlocks, whatever, yeah. I would guess that absolutely from the opening I would have talked about uh, in a quick crystal thing there, which is awakening and so on. Um, but yeah, god damn it, it's, it really is the anime of, you know, like, it really is anime of coincidence, yeah. It's like, oh my god, he's here, and now we meet, uh, oh my god, well, he's back again, and it's never gonna happen, and it's super stupid, and it's like, oh my god, are you an idiot, and like, you no, know, this will never happen again, I happen again, you know, <laughs> it's like, god damn it, god damn it, stupid boy, yeah, stupid human boy, stop coming to flirt with me all the time, and he wants to have the same food taste and everything, it's like, oh my god, I don't know. it's pretty entertaining though, but it really feels like I'm watching Red and Girlfriend again, right, you saw the, the, I mean, the Sora, and it has the exact same kind of storytelling where the two main characters keep meeting all the time or they happen to have the same grandma, the best friend's grandma, happen to be neighbors, right? It keeps like doing that stuff, right? So it's quite silly that it's like, oh yeah, of course everything happens. It respect, right? But anyway, yeah, that's my hazard reaction review. It's, I think it's an entertaining anime, it really is, but it also feels very, very cliche. I think it's a very rom-com cliche that, of course, they're gonna meet all the time. Uh, it feels very unnatural, right? Yeah, it feels very, like, you know, let's say destiny. And of course, it's like, she's the witch and they're gonna ask him to capture her and defeat her and so on, beat her up and so on, yeah. Like, it's just like, the whole thing is like, everything is just making them you know, come together, and, and I think the problem that is that it feels forced, right? Of course, they're gonna fall in love with each other, but it also feels very forced because, yeah, they're falling in love, but also because everything in like the universe makes them always meet all the time, even though his bosses are telling him to meet her again, right? So they, they make them meet all the time, and her mom thinks you have to defeat this guy, so they're gonna they're forced them into conflict all the time, and then of course they're gonna fall more in love. So it's kind of a weird thing where it's like. Are they in love or are they in love purely because everything keeps happening to make them fall in love, right? That's some kind of destiny thing. So it feels a little bit like that. It's like, is this true love or is this, you know, just like the universe, the, all the compass around them makes them meet, right? So, but whatever, that's the review, guys. Please hit the, the like button. I'll see you guys with Nobles. I hope you have a time. I'll try to do Nobles today. I watched the OVA for that match. So yeah, I'll do Nobles. Uh, I watched the OVA earlier today. And uh, tomorrow then we have, uh, you know, Wendy Cry, right? And we have, of course, Akudama Drive, which was really good. So I recommend them again. Akudama Drive was very good, I think, as one. Very, very cool. Very, very good, as one. And I'll see you guys with Nubles coming up soon.